but it's all right. But yeah, I think I'm prop my my money is probably on Kai. Okay. I'm so confused. Uh I think it's like uh you know how like some anime have like an OVA episode that isn't canon to the story and it's completely skippable. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Uh also Uh, this one only has three buttons, so... Cool. Um, auto dash on. I actually didn't have it on, uh, for... For when I played, uh, episode two. Hold on, let me... Let me go make tea real quick, and I'll be back in a jiffy. Coffee talk about is finally, uh, is finally being processed by YouTube. So there should be a notification about that soon, like on Discord, that uh, has been uploaded. I've been waiting for that for like, God knows how many hours.
I am back. Time to start the game. Um. Uh, also, what the fuck? Uh, YouTube can be absolutely billopy when it wants to be. Oh, finicky. Uh, why? <laughs> well, is there something I missed? Last time on the Casebook of Arm. Hold on, where is Lynn Reinbeis? Lenny's a little busy right now, so I'm her substitute. Then, can we not do this? What? Come on, I made my own puppet and everything. We gotta. Mm. Now, explain what happened last time. Ah, uh, um... Lynn Reinbeis began, in began investigation on the case. An old coot told her of the... Darkness concealed by the humans in the mansion. And it seems everyone had a falling out afterwards. Aw, poor Lenny. Also, Arn, you got taken over by Naxera. I was just caught off guard, that's all. After that, Lin Reinweiss was nearly killed, so he performed a blood pact. Again, it has to be Kai. Because, like, he, like, even... Even then, he's the only one that doesn't have an alibi, nor he gave, like, his side of the story of, like, on anything, really. Like, yeah, we know that he's trying to elope with Diana, but that's kind of it. But the odds of her reviving as a vampire are roughly 50-50. What's gonna happen to Linny? She's gonna be fine. You think I care? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's about time to begin the casebook of Arn. Looking forward to seeing how things go for Lynn. Please leave me out of this next time. God damn, that opening is good. <laughs> I think that's like I'm watching an anime. I'm just mad at YouTube. YouTube gave me my last warning strike on my account due to a video I made 12 years ago. Ah, uh, well. It happens. <laughs> Where am I? Only daughter of the Rhinebeis family, Lynn Rhinebeis. As I recall, I drank Lord Arn's blood. But why did I end up here? Ah, uh, I don't have the pendant mother gave me. Oh yeah, I just noticed. Also, uh, real quick. Okay. Sorry, just had to check something. Did I drop it somewhere, or...? What's that over there? Uh, can I please... Okay, well... Lynn Reimweiss rests here. My grave? 
However, I should make it clear up front. There's no guarantee a blood a blood pact will succeed. Could it be that the blood pact failed and I died? No. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Mother. I just felt something. The base of the tree? Ah, there's a shovel here. I literally interacted with that earlier, what the fuck? Maybe I can use this to... Check the grave. Should I dig here? <laughs> Not even giving me an option. I mean, obviously, but... Ah! There is the pendant. Mother's pendant. What was it doing here? Okay, hold on. This viewer count is giving me is annoying me to no end because I can't figure out like, okay, here. On where did I put it on the game capture? No, 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 no. Hold on. I don't like it here either. Um, where was it last time? Uh, also, I need to fix the chat on this too. Um, this, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to, yeah, sure, that works, um, yeah, it's fine, I'll just do it like this for now, I'm glad I could find the pendant, but what do I do now, am I going to be here forever? It's all right, my dear Lin. Eh? The voice was... The pendant's glowing. A bridge. There's no mistaking that voice. It was mother. It's mother. Up ahead. God damn, she walks fast though. I mean, I gotta have auto dash on, but still. It's like really fucking fast. I can faintly hear music. It's. A lullaby mother often sang for me. I knew it. She must be up ahead. The girl began walking in the direction of the sound. If you have trouble hearing quiet sounds, click the pendant to determine the right way using the strength of its light. Yeah, it's up. Yeah, up. The sound's gotten quiet. It seems to be guiding me somewhere. Well, I'll go in the direction of the sound. I think it's here. Yeah. Ah. Oh, perfect. Mother. Father. Don't be sorry, but I'm sorry, I gotta go to bed. The payments are kicking out rather. Yeah, okay. Alright, have a good night. Mother, it's me, Lynn. Father. Father, are you done yet? How strange. I read the instructions thoroughly. But I just can't get it to work. He's not looking at me, and he can't seem to hear me either. And beside mother is me when I was young. 
<laughs> you said the same thing 10 minutes ago. I'm sure I've got it this time. Oh, here we are. Father, hurry, hurry. Right. Aw. That's right. That's how we took this photo. Rose, I'm glad I could meet you one last time. Yes, honey. Well then, I'll be on my way. So long. I love you. No. I loved you so many times more. That you did. Father? I'm going, Lynn. Going? Go on then, Father. Ah. Uh. Mother, I'm going to go play too. The trees. The trees are calling for me to climb them. Oh dear. Make sure you don't hurt yourself now. Okay. This isn't quite how I remember it. After the photo, we ate our lunches together. What exactly am I looking at? Mother, I'm here. I'm right in front of you. Yes, I knew the whole time. Eh? Mother? It's been a long time, my little Lin. You can see me? Of course! The, the music just spiked out of nowhere. It was so quiet. Mother. Mother! I... I've been trying so hard. Yes, yes. You've done me proud. Ever since you left... Mother, the whole time... I know. You've done your best, and done nothing wrong. There's... There's so much I want to talk to you about, Mother. Unfortunately... There isn't much time, Mother. Heave ho! Lin, you can't come here just yet. What do you mean? Hmm, that's a secret. What? It'll have to be a bit before I can have a leisurely chat with you, but... For now, go into this light, okay? But I don't want to. I want to stay with you. No, no. Some other time. Mother. Then you come with me, Mother. That's not possible. But remember this. As long as you hold that pendant, I'll be watching over you, Lin. No. Mother. Go on now, Lin. That was a close one. Oh. Naturally, I couldn't let her see this. Best of luck, honey. Since you can't come to heaven, I had to come here. I'm not able to go with you, but... I'll wait here, as long as it takes. Atone for your sins, and please, come back. supposed to be playing? Wait, hold on. What? Is this supposed to be playing? Oh, you're awake. 
Four more heinous vampire detective. Well then. Is this supposed to be playing? Cause there's another theme below it. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I mean, it's a bop. Well then, that means you become a vampire. I take it you're overjoyed. Mother, mother. What is it, Lin Vice? Why are you crying? I don't know. But for some reason, it feels like I got to meet Mother. Okay, hold on. What? This is not your correct. Are you, are you done? <laughs> what? Why was the the opening playing? What? And now this sad theme is is here, which was already playing below it. I think that was a bug. I don't think that was intended. <laughs> Unless I opened the game twice, which I didn't. I'm checking. I'm not even recording this. I don't have the stream open on my computer. I think it's just a bug. <laughs> the opening just started playing out of nowhere. So, hold on. Lin... Don't tell me Lin killed her father. Because I... Like, I've, I've been so distracted by the opening that I forgot to... To think about this, but like... Lin has to... Uh, tone for some sin so was it her that killed her father but that also doesn't make sense because like she almost just died from a fatal wound that was at the back so it's Highly unlikely that she did that to herself. Because how could she have cut herself that deep on her back? So it has to be something else that we don't know about. Because I don't think it was her who killed her father. Like, I'm still thinking that's Kai. Because, I mean, he had a good motive to do it. And and everyone in the mansion hated him. Hmm. I'm still thinking that's Kai, because that's kind of where the hints have been taking me. But what does it mean by, at like, atone for your sins? Like, she can't go to heaven. Mother. Mother. Better now? <laughs> that face. Yes, I've come down. What's with that look? Now that I'm calm... I remembered a thing or two. There's a lot I want to say, but first things first. Why am I wearing my tracksuit? And also, not wearing underwear. <laughs> That's your first things first? I was in nothing but a towel. I mean, I'm grateful. I'm not just, I'm not just in a towel now, but... I'm sure you must have carried me here and put my tracksuit on me, Lord Arn. I th thought it would be fine to leave you Wait, I thought it fine to leave you alone. But Zisha insisted you I get you dressed. Then you should have put on my underwear too. If you'd just done that, I would have been able to let it slide like Ornarn saw me nude, but there was no helping it. 
But you're supposed to change underwear, yes? It's in that dresser. Wait, why do I even need to tell you that? What is this roller coaster of emotion? I'm like still confused about the scene from hell. I'm confused about the opening playing out of nowhere and now this. <laughs> what is this? What am I seeing? You're the one who shouted it out. I'm going to change, so please leave. As I said before, what does it matter seeing you nude? Window! What am I, a dog? Alright, alright, I'll come back in a few minutes. There's a lot to think about, but I can't get started without putting on my underwear. Fantastic. The girl decided to put on underwear. Packed with cute and expensive goods. Um... Also, wait... So the killer wrote this too. I wonder when did they get into my room? It's Kai. It has to be. If the killer wrote that. Yeah. It has to be Kai. Because they. Like the killer told her to go to the courtyard. And that's where the dogs attacked her. But. Kai is the only one who realistically could have set that up without getting attacked. So yeah, it, it, it has to be Kai. I, I'm certain of it. I'll change my tracksuit too, just in case. I knew it was the right call to buy 20 of the same one. I don't think it was, but alright. Now I can finally settle down and think. Oh, that's right, my investigation notes. Ah, they're in the cabinet. Why is he methodical about kind of, about kind of, about that kind of thing? Okay, here they are. All prior information added to notes. Make use of it if you're having trouble with reasoning. Ah, this storybook really brings me back. I mean... This isn't the time. Big Red Hood, Chapter 1. Alright. So up here in the notes menu, but are unimportant for beating the game. You may find one in the dresser or bookcase when exploring a room. Yes. I'd like to sit down for a bit and sort things out. Um, let's see. It's actually probably... Uh... Good to, like, check these notes. So, case summary. Liz's father has been murdered. A headless corpse was also left in his room. But it turned out to be someone else. Who did this and why? Garden dogs. The, they only attack... They only act friendly with Lin and her father. But the gardener, Kai, seems to be an exception. Dad... Uh... Okay. Dad's room mirror. A mirror in Lin's father's room. Likely... Because it's in a bad position, Zizia witnessed nothing from that mirror. Fence. Wait! Where was the mirror again? Wasn't it near one of the boxes? It was near where the vent was. It was near where the vent was. The master's room and the storeroom are, con are connected by vents. Lynn and the maid Elisa could probably move through them. It was a den of dust bunnies. The mirror was near where the vent was, right? So that means the killer couldn't have gone through the vent because Jisha would have seen them. Or maybe it was on the other side. Missing vase. A vase that should have been in the storeroom when missing. There's one just like it in the second floor west hallway, but where could it have disappeared to? The flowers in the second floor vase 
were dropping petals, despite the butler Gordon whistling away as he tends to them every morning. What could be going on there? I mean, we already know. It seems one of Arn's hearts was in the basement. Who was using that heart? And what were they trying to revive? Passage blood. There was blood in the passage leading to the hidden room. It's apparently the blood of the person dead in Lin's father's room. Security. The mansion security is generally trusted to the guard is generally trusted to the guard burned at the front gate. And the guard dogs in the courtyard. As such, outside intruders should be unlikely. Unless it's someone that the dogs trust, like Kai. Who has not been inside almost at all, except to, except to pound on uh, on that maid on those maid cheeks. Attack detail. The chef Heinz claims he was attacked from behind while making tea in the kitchen. Afterward, he heard the door to the courtyard open. And the flapping of wings. The flapping of wings I don't get. Oh no, no, wait, that's... I'm stupid, that's... No, no, that doesn't... <laughs> that was Arn. We we know that was Arn. That was... That, that, that's... Okay, never mind. I don't know why, why I even thought about this. The butler Gordon was attacked from behind while... Heading from the dining room to the second floor afterwards... He heard the door to the entryway opening, but we already know this, we, we, we don't need to read this. The Chef Hines says he witnessed a figure walking through the courtyard. Since the guard dogs didn't bark, he thinks it's just his imagination, but... It's Kai. Again. It has to be. The maid Diana has an extreme fear of heights and can't even go out on the terrace. If only the whole world were flat. Which makes her not the killer because Lin's father died by being pushed from a great height and glass. After bringing the master water, after bringing the master water, Elisa always returns the glass to the kitchen, but this time it's yet to be returned. Evidently, she tried to transfer the water to the vase and broke both in the process. Okay. Rumors. Serial murders. There have been serial mur- Oh, wait, we already know this. There have been serial murders happening recently. Just the other day, a man was killed late at night. Alibis. Actually, yeah, I, did. I, I never read these one. Was reading- in his room prior to Lynn being called by her father at midnight. Around 12.15, he moved to the kitchen where he discussed food with Heinz. At this time, he encountered Burnt in the, di in the dining room. Uh, Elisa went to the kitchen before midnight to get water for Master to drink, to drink with medicine. Then went to the third floor, went to Master's door right at midnight, but recalled him saying it was unnecessary and left without meeting him. On the way, she tried to pour the water into the vase in the second floor of West Hallway and broke it. After cleaning for about five minutes, she searched for one with the same design in the third floor storeroom. I heard Burns scream at 12.30 right after placing the storeroom vase in the second floor hallway Diana for midnight Elisa left the maid's room and once certain that she was gone Diana left too met up with Kai in the guest room on the east side of the second floor but that was not like anywhere close to midnight that was during the day probably Dan, uh, well, no, it was close to midnight, but I guess, wait, what were the time steps again? 
Yeah, no, it wasn't at midnight, right? I'm gonna put Kai in the guest room on the side of the second floor. Deanna planned to elope with Kai, but due to her extreme fear of heights, she rejected his plan to descend down a ladder from the terrace to the courtyard. While discussing what to do, they heard Fern scream. And... And Kai didn't... Wait... While discussing what to do... Wait, actually, that kind of puts a hole in my theory, then. Because if they were together... If they were together at that time... Hold on. There's, is there a window in in uh, Lin's father's room? Because if there is, then he probably could have gone in and out from that. I think there was, right? I'll have to double check. I'm sure we'll be able to walk in there at some point. Kai. Before midnight, use the ladder in the courtyard to enter the guest room on the east side of of the second floor. Heinz noticed his shadow passing by at this time. By the time Diana left the guest room after hearing Burns scream at 12.30, it seems Kai had left the mansion. By the time Diana- wait. By the time Diana left the guest room after hearing Burns scream at 12.30, it seems Kai had left the mansion. I mean... If it's not him, then that's still highly suspicious. Because why would he leave the mansion instead of following Diana? Unless he knows the reason why the scream was there. Burned. Was on guard in the dining room since before midnight. Says he saw Lisa before midnight. Gordon around 12.15 was summoned by father at 12.30 so he went to the room and there found the headless corpse. Being someone who passes out at the mere sight of blood, he let out a, perfect, a pathetic scream and fainted. Hold on. Um... Due to her extreme fear of heights, she rejected this plan to send down uh time. Hmm. So at at twelve thirty No no wait. At twelve thirty he would have all the time in the world to cause the murder happened at midnight, precisely, right? The murder happened at midnight. And then in some way, he left. But... Alright, good time lurking. See ya. Alright, bye. But how... Because I was thinking maybe he could hide in the secret room, but I think maybe that might not be it. Because... Everyone had, uh, like, everyone has a, yeah, I guess nobody was in the secret room besides, besides Lin's father and the killer. But then, how would they leave? Come on, I need to check if the, if the room has a window. If it does, then I'm, I'm putting my money on Kai. Heinz was in the kitchen the whole time. Heinz also claims Elisa came before midnight for water. Afterwards, around 12.30, Gordon came to the kitchen. And they had a conversation about food. That checks out. Um, Big Red Hood. Uh, you know what? I'll read this. Um, I'll read this when I have all of them. 
<sighs> Where should I even start? Hey, Lenny. Cecia. Jeez, don't startle me every time. It's not like I'm trying to or anything. Baka. An unstable entity existing within mirrors. Since you were revived, I guess you became a vampire. Congrats. I guess so. Lord Arn said that too. I'm not human anymore, am I? Hope we can get along better now as fellow non-humans. Right. Well, it might take time to accept. But it's no use crying over spilled milk. Just gotta keep moving forward. Though for real, I thought you were rejoicing. I thought you'd be rejoicing more. It was so sudden, I didn't have a choice, so I guess I don't know how to feel. Would you mind helping me sort of things out in my head? I think it'll be better taking it out. I think it'll be better talking it out with you than thinking about it myself. And I doubt Lord Arn would understand if I talked with him. Also, let me like, kind of fix the mic a little bit here. Sure thing. Let's get your head as refreshed as, refreshed as your tracksuit. Were you watching? Whatever could you mean? <laughs> oh no. So, what are we starting with? Uh... About the killer. About the person who attacked me. Did you see them, Decia? If I did, I'd tell Arn for sure. I'm not cruel enough to just overlook that. I see. But why was I targeted also? This music. I mean, because you were stumbling around alone and easy to target? But they let me go once before, when I was in father's room. If they wanted to kill me, couldn't they have just done it then? Ah, right. There was an opportunity to kill you easily, huh? Maybe there was some reason why they didn't. Well, if it were me or Arn, we'd accept just cuz as, as a reason. Is that how you think being non-humans? That's right. You will you will too before long, Lenny. I feel like it wasn't just because. Even if that in itself is a just because hunch. Well, no point in mewling over it. On to the next thing. Right. About vampires. I'm overanalyzing this way too much. I'm too invested in this mystery. <laughs> I'm a vampire too, right? Uh-huh. Since your blood pact with Arn succeeded. It doesn't really feel real. It's like, you know... Power. I'm brimming with power. Keep your distance from the vampire of pure scarlet... Of, of pure scarlet, Lynn Reinweiss. I thought it'd go more like that. You read too many comic books. Not that I know much about this whole thing either. You'll... 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 You'll probably start noticing changes, you know? Might be able to turn into a bat soon. I can become a bat too? Well, yeah. You're a vampire. I can't wait. You're gonna be zooming out of control if Arn's not around. Ah. Uh, what's going to happen to me, I wonder? Hmm? What do you mean, what'll happen? I mean, because I'm a vampire. I might attack humans or... 
Ah, that. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, you're right. Like Lord Arndt said, the only blood he drinks is what clients pay him, so... <coughs> Wait, hold on, what? Duff, listen to this, Hamburg. Gordon got angry at me once more today. At least an ultra clumsy maid, bad at formal speech. Oh, it's an imagination sequence. Mm, mistress, is something the matter? I I was most definitely not talking guest to a doll. The girl slowly approached the maid. Uh, before that, let me. I guess it's technically a dream sequence, so this shouldn't work, but also I just kind of... Oh, it did work! <laughs> Big Red Hood Chapter 2, alright. The suitcase is packed with clothes, but there isn't really anything of note. <laughs> Mistress, does something be at the matter? Want? Eh? Did this D sayeth something? I want your blood. Oh no! Verily and for us, forsoothly. Yep, nothing like that should happen. I'm a little curious why you picked that maid. Because it seemed like her blood would would be tasty. Ah! So these are vampiric urges. Uh, nope. <laughs> this is so stupid, I love it. But actually, when I said you wouldn't have to worry, I didn't mean you could endure the urge to suck blood. Huh? I meant you'd stop being bothered by attacking humans. You already don't feel bad for every piece of meat you eat, do you? It's the same thing. Th that can't be. Arn doesn't seem to have especially severe urges on account of his body... On account of his body being seriously weird, but... As a regular old vampire, Lin, I'm thinking you can't avoid it. I mean, you became a vampire knowing that, surely. I... suppose so? Well, if you don't like that, see if you can put up with it for now. You can probably manage until this case is solved at least. I see. If there's no worry of me attacking the people in the mansion, that's good at least. Once this case is solved, I won't be able to stay in this house. Well, I... I guess that's natural. I chose this myself, so I have to keep a firm resolve. What are you doing? Oh, Arn. I was having a fun chat. Uh, I was having a fun chat with Linny. With Lynn Reinweiss? Ah. Well. I'll leave the rest to you, Arn. Well, then, Rhymevice, how about our next step? Yes, what is it? Now that I'm a vampire, I'm not afraid of anything. Come at me with everything you've got. Why are you so high energy all of a sudden? I just got this amazing power. Uh, this amazing vampire power. Like, wow, I can handle anything, you know? Surely, Lynn Rhymevice, does your age just see no no bounds? Sit down and listen to me. Ah. <laughs> listen well, Lynn Rhymevice. Okay. So, now you've been revived. 
Wouldn't you say it's time we start bringing this to a resolution? Did you figure out who the killer is? Naturally. All that remains is to do as any great detective does and corner the culprit with all present. Who in the world is it? It would be boring to yeah, it would be boring to just say, surely. Oh come on. And thus, I require that those in the mansion be assembled somewhere. But it would be tedious for me. As such, I was thinking I'd use you for it. You can do it, yes? Ah, but I'm not, well, human anymore. I wonder if I'll be able to. What are you saying, Lin Rheinweiss? You may be a vampire, but you are still you, correct? Have you forgotten declaring as much to me? Well, nothing for it, I suppose. I'll let you use me. It's in my capable hands. Then go forth. Then yeah, then go forth, Lin Rhymeweiss. Lin Rhymeweiss going forth. <laughs> Once you've gathered everyone, return here to call for me. Understood. Okay. Right. Now isn't the time to be anxious. I'm me. That won't change. I can save any regretting and worrying for after this case is done. More important right now is solving the case with Lord Arn. That's what I became a vampire for. So then, where is everyone? I'll check the dining room first. No, wait. I want to... For now, go to the dining room. I want to check Father's room. Looks like the others aren't back yet. Oh, but Gordon's here. I'll talk with him first. Though it's not getting used in this season, the maids polish the fireplace every day. Ah, what brings you here, mistress? Gordon, the serious butler who never cracks a smile. It looks like the others still haven't returned. Indeed they haven't, but I was just thinking of calling them back. In that case, I'll go call for everyone. Will you? Well then. Ah, oh, but acting alone. Even if I'm a vampire, I don't want to be attacked again. It might be a good idea to go with someone else. Actually, Gordon, could you come with me? I'm a little uncertain if I could convince everyone by myself. Understood. I shall accompany you. By the way, do you know where everyone is? Bernd and Heinz were arguing in the entryway, but Heinz has since returned to the kitchen. I believe Elisa should still be in her room. I haven't seen Diana around. Would you happen to have some idea, mistress? Right. I think she's still in the guest room. There's something I want to talk about, so I want to gather everyone in the second floor waiting room. Well, if you would prefer that location, I don't mind. Okay then, let's call the others. Everyone's location added to notes. Okay. Oh! When Lin is with someone else, checking some things will give unique responses. These have nothing to do with the case, but you may learn a little about that person. Okay, let's do that then. The butler Gordon starts his morning by watering the plants in this room. Isn't it difficult watering the flowers around the entire mansion every morning? Not at all. Flowers respond to your heartfelt efforts raising them. To me, they're like my children. Yeah, I suppose so. There's no reason to go outside. Oh man, fuck. Hmm. There's, uh, there's nothing for me to sweat. God damn it. I have no business in this room. Is Diana and Kai? I'd like to call them. I'd like to call for them last. Considering what happened with Lord Arn, uh, how should I go about this? I wonder. Hmm. 
fine. Maybe there is someone in Taras. No, there isn't. All right. Chapter six. What the fuck? Oh, and chapter five is right next to it. What? Um, collection. I have one, two, five, and six. I need three and four. Um, well then let me go and and find them, I guess. There's nothing for me this way. Of course there fucking isn't. Butler's room. I have no business in this room. Maid's room. I already got the one in here, though. Unless... I already checked these, yeah. Alright. Duff, listen to this, Hamburg. Gordon's rage is truly nasty. He's like some kind of demon. Yes, it must be Soweth. Uh, are you okay? M Mistress, does something BF the matter? Uh, I want to talk with everyone about something, so come to the second floor waiting room. Elisa? Sure, Gordon. Did, did this, you hear that just now? What could you be referring to? No, I heard nothing at all about me being a demon. No, 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 you misunderstand. I mean that you were kind like a demon. It seems you haven't done enough introspection. I have done it the most introspecting. Yes, so very much. Let us be off, Mistress Lynn. Elisa appears to need some need time to think to think about things. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, forsooth. It doesn't seem like I can take Elisa along while Gordon's here. Bathroom? I don't need the bath right now. Um... Oh! Wait, I can go into the entryway? A slab chronicling the history of the Rheinweiss family. As you can see, the Rheinweiss family is a venerable noble lineage. You must keep that in mind at all times. Yes. Stone statue resembling that of a goddess. Okay. What's the matter? Did you need something with this human garbage? A diligent looking security guard. Burned. He's sulking super hard. I just want to talk to everyone about something. Could you come to the waiting room on the second floor? Oh. I'm sure things go smoother if you just ignore me and talk amongst yourselves. Just come, would you? It's an order from the family head. Say what you want to me, but I don't wanna. There, So there's nothing you can do. Doesn't seem Gordon can persuade him. Hmm. Was there someone who Burn would listen to a request from? Yeah, Elisa. Understood. I'll come back. Whoever you bring, I'm not moving from this spot. Also, wait, the kitchen. Um, some bread that's gone hard. I don't see why there would be a book here, but also... Oh, wait, there's one here. Oh. I don't see why there would be a book here. Wow. Speak of the damn devil, but I'm missing the third one. What the fuck is it? Huh? What is it, Lynn? A cheerful hired chef devoted to cooking, Heinz. I want to talk to everyone about something. So, could you come to the waiting room on the second floor? Hmm. I don't want to see Burns ugly mug. I'll be certain to stop him if he tries to do anything like like before in the future. If you say so, Gordon. Well, alright. You never know what will happen, right? Thank you very much. Must be hard for you too, Lynn. Good luck. Yes! Heinz went to the second floor. Yay! It's thanks to Gordon 
that I could persuade Heinz. It might be wise to have someone help me out with calling for the others too. Yeah. You can now call for the people who you convince, like Heinz. Press the A key or click the image in the top left to open the character summoning screen. Work with others to assemble the remaining servants in the second floor waiting room. Nothing inside the pot. There's no reason to go outside. Um. Oh, there it is. I. There is the book. Big Red Hood Chapter 3 added to collection. I might as well read them all. Collection. Big Red Hood Chapter 1. Deep in the woods, there lived a girl and her mother. The girl always wore a red hood, so people called her Red Riding Hood. One day, Red Riding Hood's mother gave her an errand. Go to grandmother's house deep in the woods. The 30 foot tall Red Riding Hood headed into the woods, cutting a, a swath through the trees. Big Red Hood, six chapters and all. <laughs> this is like the Sharon game. Little Red Riding Hood Dark Side. Great game, by the way. As Red Riding Hood pushed through the trees, a 60 foot tall wolf walked towards her, shaking the ground. Red Riding Hood. We are you headed? I'm delivering bread and wine to my granny. There's a pond with pretty flowers up ahead. Red Riding Hood decided to go pick up flowers for granny. While Red Riding Hood was picking flowers, the wolf went ahead to grandmother's house. And the wolf ate the over 90 foot tall granny in one go. Why are they all so fucking, fucking massive? I know, I'll pretend to be Granny and wait here. The wolf lay down in Granny's bed. My stomach's swelling, kinda hurts. Red Riding Hood arrived at Granny's house, none the wiser. She couldn't find flowers, so instead she carried a great many trees. Granny, I'll leave, this in I'll leave these in the garden. Oh, thank you. After planting the trees in the garden, she approached the bed where the wolf slept. Red Riding Hood asked her grandmother, Granny, why is your belly moving so much? Eh? The wolf looked at his belly and it was moving all about. Amazingly, Granny, who he'd swallowed in one gulp, hadn't been digested. Then her grandmother said this, Honestly? I thought I was done for, but I did my best to avoid being digested. Perhaps the desire to meet my cute granddaughter made a miracle happen today? In all our lives, we may someday be brought to the brink of despair. In those times... Jesus Christ. Um, in those times, I hope you'll remember this story. If that granny could do it, I can do it too. If you can think that... Then, even me being eaten was worth it. Also, the wolf died of something... Of something or another. And they lived happily ever after. Cool! Other. Everyone's location. Oh, okay. So... She's the only one that can convince uh, the guard. Whatever you save to me, I won't go. And I need someone to... To convince her. Um... I have no business in this room. I don't need a bath right now. Um... Heinz. You... Have you and Bird... Bird come to a proper resolution? Afraid not. You ought to go talk to him too, Gordon. Indeed, it is part of my job to maintain relations between servants. Apologies for this. I'll pour you some 
Nipponese green tea sometime. Some Nipponese green tea. I'm looking forward to it. You're so strange to like that bitter stuff, Gordon. Um. On. How do I change? Uh. Come on. Let me see. Maybe I need to. Ah, there we go. Call for Heinz? Yes. All the meals you suggested are perfect, Gordon. You've worked in lots of mansions, huh? You couldn't make such a precise menu without experience. True, I've served many masters. But it is your talent that gives me such opinions, Heinz. Well, yeah, nobody can make tastier cooking than me. Nor boast a better repertoire. I look forward to your continued service. You put a lot of thought into even the most ordinary of meals. Okay. It's the same dialogue. Alright. Um... Yeah. Last. Can I go? I can't go back to my room with Heinz here. Alright, fine. What's these? You laid out these. You laid out these flowers, right, Heinz? The table setting is important for meals too. Naturally, my cooking is delicious, but I want to make it taste even better. You already think things through. Well. Though it hardly even qualifies as having a psychological effect. Some bread that's gone hard. Is this bread still edible? Oh, those are fakes. I Oh, those are fakes I set up for burned. Well made, right? For burned? When burned comes to steal food, these are for whacking him with. Whacking him? <laughs> uh, I love these. I love these motherfuckers. Um, no. You can convince Lisa. I won't go. Come to think of it, I've got some sweets ready, so maybe I'll give them to people who assemble up there. Is that so? If you're not coming, at least, then maybe somebody else will eat your share. What? But, but... I'm sure it'll be tasty. It's not stuff you get your hands on often. I understand it crystal clearly. I doth be gone. Ah, are you now? Thank goodness. <laughs> at least I went to the second floor. Alright. Thank you, Heinz. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to this cunt. I've got no desire to go to the second floor. He's talking super hard. Stop being childish and move already. Lynn's begging you here. Huh? You're the reason I don't wanna. I don't think there's any chance I'm convincing Bird with Heinz around. Hmm. Was there someone who Burn would listen to a request from? Understood. I'll come back. As long as Heinz is going to be there, I'm not. I'm definitely not going. Mm. Come to think of it, Elise, uh, you've also wasted a lot of my cooking, drop, dropping plates and such. Well. Next time you waste one of my meals, I'll... Oh, uh, my, uh... My, um... Uh, Coffee Talk VOD is up. Finally. Next time you waste one of my meals, I'll... I, I shall take it the responsibility and eat, eat it all for sooth. Nah. I know it's not on purpose, so you don't have to go that far. But maybe you'll mess up less often if you think about my feelings. E yes, sir. At least it's gonna be 
is going to be extra nervous when she's carrying meals now. <laughs> All the meals you s oh wait, I already talked to him. Um Okay. Let me change to Gordon real quick. I want to talk to Elise with Gordon. Elise, if you break or destroy anything, you must tell me instead of hiding it. Yes, indeed. What does it be? I said to hide nothing and speak honestly. I doth not be hiding anything. It seems there's a lot more yet to come out. Uh, okay. Let's call for Elisa. Gordon, verily I am sorry. Did you do something yet again? Ah, I I apologize as a conditional reflexeth. You should feel ashamed that I've yelled at you enough that you apologize at the side of my face. Yes, sir, sir. I will maketh the effort. There is it. I know how you feel. I sometimes want to apologize when I haven't done anything. <laughs> sure, Heinz. Where doth be the sweets? Let's wait until later, Elisa. Hello, Stickville. How you doing? We'll meet again. Don't know where. Don't know when. I know we'll meet again some sunny day. Isn't that a song? Let's wait until later, Elisa. I... I have been tricked. This is fraudulent. But don't you think food's tastier if you suppress the urge and eat it later? Yeah. Yeah, have it a point. That's our Heinz. Elisa. They call that being tricked. I've got no desire to go to the second floor. He's sucking super hard. Elisa, would you try persuading Burn? Uh, uh understood. I'll give it a shot. S -s 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 sure, Burn. Let us go to the second floor waiting room together. I Elisa? You know what? I was just thinking of going to the second floor myself. It must be fate, huh? <sighs> He's so simple. Vern <laughs> uh, went to the second floor. That just leaves Dan and Kai. Wait. If I try to... Wait, actually, before I do that. Elisa, what's the matter? Did you need something from me? Uh, no, nothing especially. And yet you talk to me? Thanks. Yes, don't mention it, Est. Hmm, feels like Burns' crush is one-sided, huh? I mean, yeah, who would, who would feel something for that moron? G Gordon, barely- oh wait, I already read this. Um... Alright, burned. Remember Gravity Falls? I never actually watched it. Also, there's so many kinds of books in this house. Comics, novels, storybooks, and even diaries. Diaries? Here, like this one. My true form is that of a crimson, crimson fallen angel. Now I work as an assassin to... Stop right there. You can't just read someone else's diary. Huh? Isn't it interesting, though? It's privacy invasion is what it is. Hurry up and put that back where you found it. Ah. What's my diary from three years ago doing here? I have to secretly dispose of that later. Wait, actually, I just re remembered. Ooh, no, 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 no. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I forgot to 
check extra dialogue with uh, with Elisa. Maid's room. It has to be here, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm so glad I checked. You know, you really should show me that risque underwear as an apology for breaking that vase. What do you mean? I really should... Shouldest. And also, Gordon already got supreme... Supremely angry at me. So surely we should be even. Well then, I'll take the sweets you're hiding. But please spare me that as well. I'm just joking. Mistress. <laughs> God damn it. Bill, so Bill Scyther is in your mind? Um... I mean, I, I know what it is. It's the Illuminati guy, but I ne I just never watched it. Not really familiar. Oh. Oh, the plate she breaks. Elisa, how many plates have you broken in your life? Perhaps about 10? That is a lie. Are you sure that's the right number of zeros? <laughs> Perhaps around a thousand? <laughs> that's far beyond my expectations. Huh? Ah, ah, yes, forsooth. It's surely around a hundred. <laughs> Too late now. <laughs> oh my god. Actually, she doesn't have a a voice uh, a voice line a dialogue for the for the vase. Hmm, guess not. Or wait, where was it again? Yeah, it's right there. Well, Cipher is a Dorito. Oh. Yeah, I guess. Um, right. All right. Let me change. Okay. Lisa, are you okay? Gordon didn't yell at you t again, did he? It's all right. I have gotten completely used to it. Right, right. It's best to ignore those lousy lectures. That isn't it, Burned. By now, I reject it them entirely. As soon as I feel it in danger, my mind blocks out Gordon's voice. That's amazing. Way to go, Adisa. So Gordon's efforts are wasted? Apparently so. Ah, Gordon. So about before. Before? I wasn't thinking of you as a damn old coot for even a second, just so you know. You're really, uh, you're really a good old coot, yeah. Are you making fun of me? Huh? Why are you angry? Even getting mad at him would be foolish. <laughs> Just listening to this is giving me the chills. Oh no. Mistress Lin, you've gotta listen. This guy told me that if I wouldn't lick the tea I spilled, I had to apologize to the tea. How nonsense is that? T has a heart too, you know. You have to apologize and get in and get its forgiveness, or a T curse might befall you. What sort of cur that? Yeah, what sort of curse would that be? I don't get you at all. Ah, <sighs> I feel sorry for all the food you've eaten. I should probably avoid letting these two talk to each other for a while. Uh, how about no? Call for Heinz. Because I need to see the dialogue for these two. Uh, ah! Oh? You need something? How long are you gonna pout for? You're bothering Lin with that too. You sure seem concerned about Mistress Lin. What's up? You like her? Well, duh. She always cleans her plate and even says her thanks, telling me it was delicious. You, on the other hand, as long as it fills your stomach, anything goes, huh? Isn't that just what food is? Hm. There you go with that nonsense again. Please cut it out already. Uh, Gordon. Yeah! Gordon, something to matter? What was that reaction for? I mean, most of the time you talk to me, it's a lecture. And you yourself are the cause of those lectures, Burnt. It's not like I'm trying to cause them. 
His total lack of self-awareness is terrifying sometimes. Alright. Anyway, let's go to the guest room. It's Diana and... It's just Diana and Kai now. But I think it'd be a good idea to handle this by myself. Especially considering what happened with Lord Arn. Involving anyone else would make things more complicated. Lin only option added to character menu. Alright. What if I interact with it again, actually? It's just end. Okay, it's the same dialogue. Alright. Only. Leave the servant you're with and go alone? Yes. Yana, it's me. I want to talk a little. Mistress, what is it? I'm gathering everyone in the waiting room now. I want you and Kai to come too. We can't go. Because the man who did that to Kai will be there too, won't he? I can't go with someone like that around. That's... There's no way she'd believe me if I told her about Lord Arn. And I mean, there's no changing the fact that Lord Arn did something terrible to Kai. Who I'm pretty sure is the killer. He has to be. How can I handle this? Understood. I'll be back later. Come as many times as you want. We're not going. Uh, Doki Doki Lurcher called reference? Uh, what was? I didn't... I didn't see. If I'm not going to get them to come, I need to somehow change their impression of Lord Arn. Is that even possible? Honestly, isn't everyone being so selfish? At this point, maybe I should just force them. Wait, what am I thinking? Is this another effect of becoming a vampire? Anyway, I need to do something about those two. Lord Arn just... Lord Arn just apologizing a ton wouldn't make Kai forgive him, I'm sure. And I can hardly imagine Lord Arn... Day... 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 Whatever the fuck that means, to do that in the first place. Oh, the Lin only thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just Lin. At this rate... Maybe I should just boldly claim Kai was attacked by someone else, or... Wait, that might actually work. I just have Lord Arn use that power. Alright, talk, talk, talk to Arn in Lin's room. You're back, Lin, Lin Rhymevice. That took quite some time. Well, I'm actually not done yet. Was there some problem? A whole mess of problems thanks to you. Aha. Uh -huh. The gardener and maid. Yeah. I was wondering what to do. Inaccurate, Lin Rhymevice. You must already have an idea of how to resolve this. Otherwise, you wouldn't have returned to me, yes? Well, sort of. I have some thoughts about it. What's that iffy response? My tea is cold now. That's unfortunate. I don't know if you can or not, but... Apologize, use your power on or smile at Kai. Use your powers on Kai. I want you to use your ability to spread rumors on Kai. When you spread that first rumor, Kai was in the mansion, I don't think. So you can still use your ability on him. Hmm, hmm. I wouldn't mind, but what kind of rumor? A vampire, an alter ego, a twin. An alter ego, right? I want you to spread rumor that you have a split personality. No, wait, no, that's not... No. No, that's not what I meant, but alright. They have a split personality, Lord Arn. What would that do? Can't help having a split personality. That's what they'll be like, right? No. Would you accept that explanation yourself? You seemed quite offended when I attacked the chef. Oh yeah, I guess I wouldn't accept that. Well then. Uh... A twin? Okay. 
Let's spread the rumor that you have a twin. Hmm? And why should we do that? Even if there were lights, it was in the courtyard at night. I doubt he saw your face that clearly. It wasn't nighttime, was it? Huh. Yes, it's highly likely. So, can't we say your twin brother did it? I mean, under normal circumstances, I think that'd be a stretch. But your ability is powerful enough that I feel like it'll work. Hmm. Clever by your standards, Lynn Reinbeis. That rumor will need to start from zero basis. It will have no effect on the mansion's residents, who believe you to be a detective. But if it has no effect on the gardener either, it'll mean he was in the mansion the whole time. And his claim of returning to the mansion to meet the maid will be proven a lie. Oh, you're right. What, you didn't think that far ahead? So what? It'll have... It'll have that result anyway. Anyway, please do it. <laughs> please, you say? So I have the right to choose? You won't do it? I will not. What would you do if I said that? I'd be in a pickle. You can't claim to be using me if you're entrusting choices to me. Issue me the command to use my powers like I'm your tool. That's what using means, yes? I don't want to do that. That's not my st It's not my style to force people to do things. And also, I said I definitely wouldn't do anything I didn't want I didn't want to do. If you agree with my plan, Lord Arn, then please let me use you. Alright, alright, I'll spread the rumor. But even if it fools the gardener, what of the maid with him? Diana, I think she'll be okay as long as we can manage to convince Kai. Just have to push through or whatever. Well, you would know best about the humans in this mansion. Though, I'm a bit uncertain. Leave it to me. Very well. Evilly, bloodily, almightily, nine tooth. I think is how you say that. I forgot. Just stop it already. Absolutely not. This is my proof that I'm still myself. I'm afraid I don't follow. I'll come with you to see the gardener. It should speed. It should speed things along. Are you sure? I've already had an encounter with the Maiden Gardener, and I already intended to show myself before everyone at the end. That's what a great detective does. I see. Then go ahead. Go ahead and what? You'll suck my blood, right? You've already done it once, so go on. Straight for the jugular. <laughs> Lid. Why? I suppose I'll test. Hey, drawing blood again? Seriously? Your vibes are truly disgusting to me. <laughs> What's the goal of this game though? Uh, basically, when the main the girl we're playing as Lin, her father died, and basic and there's a killer. Um. Uh, and basically he was murdered by someone in the mansion, so we're trying to figure out who it is. And I think we're about to get to that point. You're mean. Hmm, I see. No change in taste. It's a bit late, but don't you think it would be better if I went to meet them in my small form? I can't imagine it would be. Because the detectives in stories are always cool and stylish, not in Detective Conan. Let's be off, idiot. Why the name calling? I went the wrong way. Good job, dumbass.
This is the room. Please try not to say anything weird. Not a problem. I just need to make him think I didn't do it, yes? Yes, but I'm sure they'll be super wary at first. Still, let's do our best. I know, I know. Okay, let's get down to it. Hip hip hurrah! what's called hold on what hey wait for me wow it's been a while since we had a save just dropping in jeez lord arn what are you what are you going in like that for wait has he been bedridden the whole time I don't need to meekly ask them permission to enter the room, surely. What did you come here for? Please just leave us alone. Gentle and scattered brain maid, Diana. See, this is what I mean. Diana, just bear with us for a second. Please listen to what we have to say. I refuse, get out of here at once. I came here to clear up a misunderstanding, be at ease. Eek. What misunderstanding? You, the man sleeping in the bed. S stay away. It was not I who attacked you. It was my older twin brother. That's nonsense. Diana. M mistress, what's gotten into you? It's alright. Nothing like that will happen again. Please, believe me. But... Take a good look. I'm not the one who attacked you, am I? Y you're his twin? That... Does sound... Familiar. So he wasn't in the mansion. Kai? Diana, haven't you heard about that? N not in the least. First of all, we never even met him before. My twin brother is a violent one indeed. It's quite the embarrassment. It appears he troubled you greatly as well. I is that right? You know, now that you say that, it feels weirdly like you're not him. He managed to convince Kai. Now it's just Diana. Don't let Diana's words words reach Kai. Uh, I can't read that. The maid didn't seem to trust the vampire's words, so she tried to question the gardener. However, the girl shouted loud loudly over her words, so they wouldn't reach the gardener. You can clear many. Yeah, if you can clear mini games and reasoning without mistakes, you'll receive a reward from Jishi at the end. God damn it. I won't cause any changes in the main story, but try your best. It's all fine. Yet surely there's no problem. Even so, please don't worry. Okay, I somehow managed to do it. Look, Diana, it's all fine. Uh, well... Is this man really a different person? Yeah, I think so. If you say so, Kai, then... Um, I'm having everyone assemble, so would you two come as well? But... I'll protect the two of you. As the next head of the Rhinebice family, I won't let such an awful dispute happen again. If you are not the culprits, then you should accompany us. Your sneaking around is why you're under suspicion. Uh... I should have asked earlier, but who exactly are you? I'm none other than... Let's hold off until everyone's present. <sighs> 
Why were you so ready to just casually declare yourself a vampire? Should I not? Absolutely not! Hmm. I felt like there was no need to hide it if I were appearing before humans anyway. Uh, um... We'll explain later. So, would you two go ahead and to the waiting room? Huh? Okay? Sure, but... Kai, are you alright? I'm fine now. Besides, I don't want to stay in hiding anymore. Like that guy says, you should go along with them. Understood. Well, we'll go to the waiting room ahead of you. Thank you very much. Well, we've now assembled everyone. Now we head to the final stage. But first, we need to think about the connection between you and I, Lord Arn. If you just go in front of everyone and say, I am none other than the heinous vampire Arn Nine Tooth, that'd be really bad. Hmm. In that case, you may decide. I decide? Indicate to me what kind of relation would be most appropriate for this situation. Incidentally, I did spread the rumor of some residents that Lynn Rhymevice is a great detective, so it would be convenient to have something that worked in tandem with that rumor. Then what if you're my lover, my mentor, a detective? Um, my mentor? I'm curious about these answers though, let's try my lover. Uh, how about if we're lovers? I see, lovers. So I'll spread the rumor that Lynn Reinweiss comes home with men in tow... Men in tow, night after night. Why? Think a little more seriously. That's entirely unrelated to the previous rumor. And I told you that I can't spread a second rumor that has zero basis, remember? I just thought it up for, uh, from seeing Diana and Kai. Please understand when something's a joke. You're asking for too much. Okay then, seriously. Um, my mentor or detective? Uh, my mentor maybe? Let's try a detective. The truth is that you're a detective, so... How about you just be honest and say that? Well, that wouldn't be so bad, but for people to believe that without question, it'd have to spread from... I'd have to spread from nothing the rumor that I'm a detective. However, I've already spread zero basis rumors to all the humans in the mansion. I can't do a second. Not many people would believe someone who just suddenly appeared and called himself a detective. But considering what's to come, it wouldn't be a bad idea to introduce myself as a detective. The rest lies in how I'm related to you. I get it, then... My mentor, alright. I just wanted to see the other answers if I'm being honest. How about if you're my mentor? Hmm, not bad. It wouldn't be unnatural for there to be a teacher or mentor who taught me to be a detective. The great detective Lynn Reinweiss has a grandiose detective mentor. Yes, by connecting it to your rumor, it'd probably be able to I'd probably be able to spread that one. Grandiose detective? You're a great detective. As such, it's natural that I'd be greater, yes? Well, sure, but... And I don't want people to think I'm on the same level as you. Did you really need to say that? <laughs> what are you on about? It's important. Understood. Lord Arn, so you're my mentor and a grandiose detective. Well then, let's spread it now. Evilly! Bloodly! Now all the preparations are in order. Let us go, Lynn Rhymevice. Hey, why are you interrupting? Oh, on, on the contrary, why do I need to wait every time? What? Alright. Um, Alright. Real quick, uh, I'm gonna take a very quick break. I'll be right back.
Then you, yeah, come back. Um. Uh, on, I'm getting spammed on Discord. Why am I getting spammed on Discord? This is why. Okay. Cool. See? I knew it. Kai's the killer. I'm trying to explain to you how that isn't true. Stop it, Burned. Maybe you should just shut your gap. Burn, get a horde of yourself. Ah, uh, wah, wah, wah. Quite the delightful scene we have here. Jeez. Stop hurrying ahead on your own. Don't blame the shortness of your legs on me. It's the height difference. Mistress, who is this? Don't worry about me. Rather, let me see the rest of your argument. What? He'll introduce himself shortly. Lord Arn, what are you... Uh, what are you doing staring them up? Staring them up too? I had no intention of that. A new person showing up. At this point... I've got it! This must be the true culprit. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. You should really keep your mouth shut, Burned. Seriously, you. Lord Arn. Personally, all of you sit down and relax. Why is somebody who just suddenly showed up running the show? Yeah, no kidding. If you don't explain yourself... Who indeed doth you be? Mistress, an explanation, please. <sighs> Sit down. Burned, let's sit for now. That might be a good idea. Um, real quick. It's a pleasure to meet you. I suppose I'll say that my name is Arn. Arn, you say it? Ah, oh, that's cute. I imagine you are aware that Lynn Rhymeweiss here is a great detective. Huh? Mistress Lynn is what? You didn't know that guy? The detective beauty of the Millennium. The very reincarnation of Sherlock Holmes. You know? Uh, huh. I had no idea. And... And who trained the great detective, Lynn Reinweiss? None other than me. You've heard the rumors, I'm sure. It, it can't be. The grandiose detective of the Millennium? The very reincarnation of Sherlock Holmes, the other one. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes got reincarnated twice? <laughs> it seems things were a bit too much for Lin Rhymeweiss and all alone. So I've come to finish the job. Aha! Uh -huh. I've seen this plot beat in books too. Now, I have gathered you all here. I take it you know what that means. You figured out who the killer... You figured out who killed the master? Precisely! Who could it have been? Now, we will begin a delightful production which shall bring the killer to light. Lord Arn is really getting into this. It feels like he's putting in some dramatic flair. But ever since he appeared, everyone's been caught up in this atmosphere. Maybe this is how a detective should act. That said, it'd be a bore to simply guess at the killer. Woman, come over here. The, 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 
the doth, doth you mean me? You're the only woman in my sight, am I mistaken? I'm very much a woman, verily. Never hath I considered myself a man, forsooth. <laughs> oh my god. I don't quite understand what you're saying, but at any rate, come here. Not to worry, I won't bite. I understood this. You have quite a tortured way of speaking, don't you? N n nothing of the sort of. <laughs> he just came out and said it. Um, why aren't I. Surely you're not gonna be like Elisa the killer, right? <laughs> I would never do something so trite. Good. So, Elisa isn't the killer. That I said nothing about. What? You, old coot. What? How rude. Oh, did I hurt your feelings? Allow me to apologize. Incidentally, we have here two detectives. Would you happen to know what kind of entertainment can unfold at a time like this? A battle of reasoning in which they throw theories at one another, perhaps? Exactly. Lynn Reinweiss. Yes. I will present my theory that this maid is the killer. What are you saying? As such, you must give your all to stop me. You're joking, right? I am not. This is a trick. So we're supposed to stop Arn because she's not the killer. That means I'm right, it is Kai. Because it can't be anyone else, can it? But I'm also like, kind of double, like I'm second guessing myself. I don't know, let's, let's keep going. I am not. We both possess the same information. It shouldn't be impossible, should it? What? Why? Because it's more delightful this way. But, this maid stands now on the gallows. What are you... You're serious about this. If you, know, if you cannot save this maid, it will prove my theory correct. And this maid shall be your father's killer. Do you take issue with that? Why are you making me do this? <laughs> You're a great detective, are you not? I'm... Now, now. You ought not finish that sentence. Take a look at the maid's face. Mistress... Please, don't kill with me. Please save me. Erisa. You're a great detective, so it must have to be fine, right? I... What indeed did you want from me? Think back, Lynn Reinweiss. What is this show that's about to begin? I get it. So that's what it is. Elisa, it'll be okay, because I'm the next head of the Rhinevice family, and a great detective. Leave everything to me. Mistress. That was a close one, Lynn Rhinevice. No kidding, I nearly neglected to rise to the stage. So this is the play you prepared for me, where I'm the star. I didn't ask for a script that has the main character losing, you know? Well... We'll see about that. Perhaps it's a tragedy. It's already a tragedy. I don't want it to be any more of one. In any case, act like the star, Lynn Reinweiss. Alright, Lord Arn. Let's see if this is the proper stage for me. Today's program, Lynn Reinweiss vs. Arn New Nine Toot. Now, Lynn Reinweiss, this is your final stage. I shall explain the rules of the delightful game you and I will be playing. Please do. I will tell you my theory. 
supposing that this maid is your father's killer. If it is mistaken, point out how. If you cannot find a flaw, this maid is the killer. All this, I've said already, but... Should you prove my theory incorrect, we will then switch roles. It won't be the end? That wouldn't settle anything, would it? I guess you're right, but... Then, I also... Indeed, choose someone and theorize that they are the killer. I... have to theorize? Be at, be at ease, Lin Reinweiss. If your theory is wrong, I will certainly point it out. Unless you can create a flawless theory, the wrong person will not be named the killer. So then... That being said, do not submit crude theories. Even if the person you choose is the killer, I will point out any holes in your theory. True. I can't imagine you making a mistake. Meanwhile, I don't think I'll make perfect theories. So basically, on my turn, I can't let myself pick the killer. And on your turn, if you pick the killer, you'll definitely have a flawless victory. Understood. I'll make good use of your theories, Lord Arn. Come, Lin Reinweiss. Let us dance joyfully together. So wait, I don't get it. Am I supposed to pick the killer or am I supposed to not pick the killer? Now, let us begin. Go right ahead. Prattling on about details would only make would only make this drag on. As far as motive, any thoughts we might come up with, wait, any thoughts we might come up with would be little more than fantasies. As such, for this maid, I will choose to focus on her escape from the room. This maid herself testified that she went to the first, she went to the third floor before Lynn Reinbeis. She had a daily routine of bringing her master medicine. She could certainly she could certainly enter simply by being invited in. After knocking you out, it wouldn't be difficult for her to push her master down into the basement. There were many weapons in the storeroom as well. She would also be capable of beheading the fake corpse. But the real question is her escape. The guard testifies that your father's room was locked. Thus, she must have locked the door and left the room. But this maid does not have a master key. The door cannot be locked from the outside, and your father's master key remained with his corpse. However, there was a route only this maid could use. Namely, the vents. After locking the door from the inside, the room. Wait, after locking the door from inside the room, she escaped to the storeroom using the vents. That is how it was possible for her to murder your father. So, is my theory mistaken? OBJECTION! Alright. Select all mistaken claims. There may be more than one. Girl pointed out all errors in the vampire's theory. Click the image to select it. Be sure to select everything that's wrong. Click an image to deselect it. Once you've made your selection, click the O in the bottom right. Um, so I have to click it with the mouse. Um, well, she couldn't have gone into the room because it was locked. Wait. Fun. What is this? Lisa had a daily routine taking medicine to her master. Uh. No, that's not. At least it doesn't have a master key. At least it escaped through the vents. Um. Come 
Wait, select all mistaken claims. Elisa doesn't have a master key. She she doesn't have a master key, so this one isn't. Had a daily routine taking medicine to her master. Well, technically it's just water, right? Escape through the vents. This is the incorrect one. Hmm. Will you go with this? Elisa couldn't have escaped through the vents. Why is that? When I went through there, there was a den of dust bunnies. That's right, it was filled with dust. If Elisa had gone through them, it would have cleared out much of the dust. Precisely, Lynn Reinweiss. Huh, I'm glad I- I'm, I'm surprised I noticed that actually. I remember when I f when we first went through the vents, I actually pointed that out. Mistress Lynn, thank you very much. Verily much. I'm glad to know you're not the killer, Elisa. You experienced those vents personally. But that was a simple one, yes? But do keep up that pace. We might find the killer with surprisingly little effort. We've still gone... We've still only gone through one person. I know that's not enough to satisfy you, Lord Arn. <laughs> you understand me rather well. Next is your turn, Lynn Reinweiss. Select someone to present as the killer. Lynn's turn. Lord Arn is serious. If I came up with a theory using some complicated trick, I'm sure I'd make a mistake somewhere. I don't have that kind of talent. And if the person I choose is the killer, I'll be giving them an, ex an escape route. So I have no choice but to choose people I know can't have done it. And have Lord Arn point out the flaws. Okay. I select Heinz. Oh. I... <laughs> so... <laughs> I don't even get to pick. Alright. Uh, you know what? Saves me the... The stress, I guess. Uh, also. Oh. It's... It's, uh, it's done. Uh... New bod. Um, me? <laughs> Running, Lynn Reinweiss? Now, present your theory why this person is the killer. Uh, Heinz left the kitchen into the dining room. Rejected. The guard should have seen. Uh, uh, the guard should have been in the dining room. All the while, leaving the kitchen undetected would be nigh impossible. Well, then, he went out to the courtyard. Also rejected. There are guard dogs in the courtyard. If they barked, even that guard would notice. Anything else? Nothing else. This should be fine. Because I know Heinz couldn't have killed Father. I do understand your thinking, but even so, come up with some better theories. If you honestly intend to use me, then give me, then give the Great Arn some entertainment. Right. Okay, so that's one down. Also, this music. God damn, this is a fight scene. Now, my turn. Ore no turn. Since the woman before was a maid. I shall select the other maid. Diana? From her testimony, there is no question that she acted together with the gardener. As such, I shall present a theory in which 
they were collaborators. So I c if I can't find a flaw, both of them are the killers. Ooh. Hmm. It could be both of them. But she's scared of- well... No, I guess not, because Kai could have done the killing. And so she wouldn't have to deal with height. Kai's wounds haven't fully healed yet, so I'll represent the both of us. I might not. Put your hopes in Lin Rhymevice. Without further ado, my theory is this. These two had no business going to your father's room like the previous maid did. In other words, our point of focus should be how they intruded into his room. Listen carefully now, Lin Rhymevice. Yes. The gardener used the ladder to get from the courtyard to the second floor guest room. And naturally, he used that same ladder to make it to the third floor as well. However, while the ladder can be dragged around, bringing it up to the second floor is no easy task. If you're alone, that is. Yes, that seems fair. However, the maid was in the guest room, so the two of them pulled the, la the ladder onto the terrace. Except, no. Because she's scared of heights. One of the two entered into the mansion to visit your father's room and get his attention. During this time, the other entered through the window in his room and concealed themselves. This also explains why the door was locked, because the maid possesses a master key. In addition, the gardener was able to was able to take the murder weapon and head outside the mansion. So, is my theory mistaken? Yes it is, because she's scared of heights. OBJECTION! The girl pointed out all the errors in the vampire's theory. Kai climbed the ladder from the courtyard to the terrace. The two cooperated to lift a ladder onto the terrace. One of them went inside and headed to the master's room. Um... I mean, it's definitely this one because she's scared of heights. So, it can't be this. She's literally said she can't go to the terrace because she's too scared. Um, I know that this one is correct, and this one is highly likely, because again, I'm still suspecting Kai, because he's the only one, but also, like, I don't know. Like, now I'm just second-guessing myself. We go with this? Yes. Diana and Kai couldn't have worked together to lift the ladder onto the terrace. Why is that? Diana has an extreme fear of heights. So she can't so much as go on the terrace. And you're also wrong about one of them going through the house to father's room. Hmm, why is that? Jishia testified that no one left the guest room until Burn screamed. That's a contradiction. Correct again, Lin Rhymevice. Mistress Lin, thank you so much. Thank you very much. That's our mistress. It's only natural when you two didn't do it. Is it though? Well done seeing through my two traps. But this would hardly be worth my time. If you couldn't see through something that simple. There are two people remaining. Lin Rhymevice. You took a cowardly move earlier, selecting the chef. But, will you do the same again? I can't theorize as skillfully as you, Lord Arn. So I have to choose someone whose actions are restricted. In other words, someone who's very likely not the killer. Hmm, so you say. Our game thus far has not decided the killer. Lynn Rhymevice, the next person you choose will also be someone highly unlikely to be the killer. 
in essence, the one you do not choose is the one whom you suspect. Why do you have to say that? Have I said anything mistaken? Work up your resolve. That's what it means to find a killer among this lot. You must choose, Lin Rheinweiss. Be at ease. I will dispute the guilt of the person you choose. And so, choose the one you do not want to be the killer. I... I'll... Yay! Mistress, I'm afraid it's your bedtime. I don't wanna. I can't sleep till mother and father come back. What are they doing? They're clapping cheeks. Um, your father and mother are having a grown-up conversation with guests that have come to visit. You must not interfere with them. Don't tell me Gordon did it. Hmm. How about this, mistress? I'll read you a story until you fall asleep. Really? Until I fall asleep? So if I don't fall asleep, you'll read forever? Indeed. Should you fail to fall asleep, I suppose I'll just have to read forever. So Gramps... So Gramps will have to read me stories all the way until morning. Yay! I would be grateful if you slept before then. <laughs> There you are, mistress. I heard from father, so this room is going to be remodeled? This room is full of memories of mother. Why would he... Does he even care about her anymore? The master loved your mother even now. That is why he said this room was much too painful without her here. I'm so worried. My memories of mother only get further away with time. So to lose this room too... You need not worry, mistress. Precious memories remain no matter how much time passes. I say this having lived many years more than you. So trust my experience. I hope you're right. To prove it, shall I tell stories of when you were just born, mistress? You were so fond of my mustache, you were always pulling at it. <laughs> mistress Lin, of course you'll pick me, right? I mean, I'm not the killer. Look, don't you think Gordon did it? I... I... I'm a card, you know. It's my job to protect everyone, right? Gordon's gone silent. He can't even make excuses, I'm sure of it. I... I choose... Burned! Say it! Burned! I choose... Gordon. What? You gotta be kidding me. Silence, human. This game is between myself and Lynn Rheinweiss. Do not add unnecessary comments. It can't be him though. It can't be burned because he's like he faints at the side of at the side of blood. Like even if he pushed Lin's father down the stairs. The body, the headless body was still there. Gah. Uh, just a second. Um, well then, Lin Rheinweiss, so you've chosen the old coot. Can you make a theory pinning him as the culprit? There'd have been a way... 
There'd have to be a way from his room to the third floor that avoided detection by both the guard and Jisia. There isn't. I don't know how. So then, the old coot is not the killer either. In short... You're wrong. It's not me. I thought you were I thought you were suspicious from the start. You would also know the resident's actions, and thus find gaps to act within. And also, rule one, the first witness did it. Wasn't that written in the book you read? Seriously, you've got it all wrong. How unsightly. You should give up and confess. <laughs> what is this? This is dumber than the dumbest gag comic. Hey, what the hell? Why are you looking at me like that? So it was you after all. He was suspicious from the start. Burned. Why? Sure burned. He's not saying anything. Just show me some evidence. There's no proof I killed him, right? Hmm. Evidence, you say? It completely slipped my mind. You! Well, don't fret. I'll go get some now. Just wait patiently until I return. The rest of you. Don't lay a finger on the guard without evidence. Don't lay a finger on the guard. Without evidence, we haven't confirmed him as the killer. Sure. Bring whatever you think you can, because there's definitely nothing. And you all keep your grubby mitts off me, or it ain't gonna be pretty. Lynn Rhymevice, come along. Okay. I mean, it can't be him, can it? It can't. That doesn't make any sense. That was decently entertaining, Lynn Rhymevice. Lord Arn, is Burn really the killer? How would you think that? Eh? If that were a fair way to decide the killer, we could have left it to a majority vote. What? Then what was all that? That means for me to have some fun. <laughs> this guy. Didn't I say as much? It would be a war it would be a bore to simply guess it guess at the killer. You're kidding. Then what was I fighting so desperately for? That was not in vain. You demonstrated clear reasons why some could not have done the deed. Incidentally, our game didn't so much as touch upon the means of decapitation or the murder weapon, yes? Didn't you think didn't you think it's strange that it was all about the method of intrusion? Well a murder weapon wouldn't have been necessary to kill father. You can't just consider these things piecemeal. And also, it's difficult to ignore something as unique as a headless corpse. Of course, I did intentionally not bring it up. Did you? Normally one would consider not just actions at the time. Normally one would consider not just actions at the time of the crime, but the murder weapon and method. However, we know things that we normally would not. This gave us a clear picture of the servant's actions, and thus we gave them undue focus. Lynn Reinweiss, why did we have such knowledge? The reason we knew things that we shouldn't really know... Ah! The girl stood in front of the source of their knowledge. The reason we know the unknowable. The mirror. The mirrors. What Jishia saw from here is the information we shouldn't actually know. Lord Arn, it's the mirrors, right? In the... Do you not realize? Huh? So it isn't the mirrors? Well, 
Never mind. Indeed, I referred to the mirrors. You realized as well, didn't you, Jisya? Huh? Wonder what you mean. I was just trying to help out. <laughs> Where are you now? Uh... What are you getting at? This is what I'm getting at. If we ignore the information Jisoo saw from this mirror... Hold on, did you really need to break it? Of course. Have I done anything without a reason? Pretty frequently, yes! There's a reason for all my actions, namely my... <laughs> I can't with this guy. There's a reason for all my actions, namely my entertainment. Yeah, I sort of understand as much, but to hear you say it without hesitation... I'd like to keep talking if you don't mind. Jeez. Yes, please continue. Indeed, if we ignore any information that Jisya saw, there's only one person who could move freely around the time of the crime, isn't there? You could go in and out of your father's room and even go to the basement. There was also an opportunity for them to put that note in your room and they knew that vase had been broken when there was no way of knowing. What a fool. Wait. Huh? Mistress Lin, is something the matter? Hey, you hold it right there. Shut up. What are you doing not letting a guard guard, huh? And I gotta score at least a couple points in my favor before you guys name me a killer. Please wait. If you run like that, your wounds... It's alright. The mistress is more important. Please hold it your horses, everyone. Hmm. Trying to lure everyone, up, everyone out at once. That saves me some time. Huh? What do you mean? Then Rhymevice, stay here and block the path of anyone who comes this way. Huh? Block the path? Hold on a second. As I thought, you stayed behind. What a sloppy crime it turned out to be. Once I realized the answer, no tricks or anything. Well, though I suppose you may be right that such things weren't necessary for you. But even forgiving that, your killing of Lin Rhymevice was far too crude. Wasn't that practically an admission of who you really are? Well... Oh my god, who is the murderer? I don't know. The vampire is ready to name the killer. Use the information you've gathered to select who it is. If you want to view a map of the mansion, click or tap here to open it up. Oh boy, this is... This is gonna suck. So... I'm still thinking it's Kai. <sighs> but is it really? Uh, but... Like, now I'm thinking it's either Kai or, Gor or Gordon. When Gordon was in the butler's room. And he couldn't leave without the guard seeing him. And then he went to the kitchen and stayed there pretty much and actually yeah if he was to go to the second floor then Jisha would see him I'm sticking with Kai I'm sticking with Kai 
Is Kai the gardener the one who killed Lin's father? Oh. Yes. Are you sure Kai is the culprit? Absolutely certain. Judge. What do we judge? Why are you here? Uh-huh. Uh, sorry for being here? It's not? Ah, I just had a premonition of Lord Arn doing something embarrassing. Lord Arn, will you be okay? It wasn't Kai? So I guess maybe it's Gordon? Is Gordon the butler the one who killed Lin's father? Absolutely certain. Judge. So it's you, old coot. Young one, you should watch your mouth. <laughs> young one. Am I young to you? What have you been going on about? I haven't the foggiest idea. Sorry, I did my best, but everyone came rushing at me. And anyway, there was no way I'd be ready to block the way all of a sudden. But it was Gordon. How though? Don't worry. I had no such expectations to begin with. What? At least have a little expectation. Uh, but... What were you talking to... What were you talking with Gordon about? Nothing of great significance. <laughs> Only that he killed your father and attempted to kill you. What? Let me actually reset that, because I don't get it, like at all. Point. How is it Gordon? I mean, I guess in a way it kind of makes the most sense, but also, I just can't really imagine how. The time is nearing for this delightful production to come to an end. Let's say we dub it simply the Rhymeweiss murder. The culprit of this Rhymeweiss murder is the one who killed Rin Rhymeweiss's father. Was this old coot? Hold on a second. Gordon has an alibi and no motive. Actually, he has a motive, but motive? Is such a thing necessary? That's just after the fact. Reasoning you humans append. That's just after the fact reasoning you humans append just so you can accept it, is it not? He killed him because he was bored. He killed him because he thought he could. 
kill them just because. Kill them for no reason. Those are perfectly sufficient reasons for me. But... And besides... Lynn Rhymeweiss and I narrowed the choices down to this old coot and the guard, did we not? However, guard... You couldn't have done it, could you? Of course not. And there we are. You yourself understood that the guard couldn't have done it, surely. He could not prepare a headless corpse. And why is that? Burned. Can't do blood. Just couldn't. Had no. Can't do blood. He faints at the sight of blood, so he couldn't have made that crime scene. Well, now, so you do understand. As Lin Rainvai says, the guard is too incompetent for murder. You don't have to be mean about it. I mean, yes, actually, he does. That leaves this old coot as the last suspect. So, tell me your actions around the time of the crime once more. Before midnight, I was reading in my room the whole time. Around 12.15, I believe. I believe it would be. I went to the kitchen to discuss food with Heinz. After 12.30, Diana came to get me. So I headed to the master's room. Hmm. That seems no different from what Lynn Reinweiss told me. Yet, something in your words contradicts my information. Lynn Reinweiss, determine what it is. I... I don't know. Don't give up right out of the gate. Think about it. I don't know who this old coot is to you, but feelings are unnecessary for reasoning. Seek only the truth, for that is the tale you desired. Gordon's statement. I was reading in my room the whole time. Click here but to switch between pictures of prior information. Click. Uh, Diana came to get me. There is a single contradiction between the prior information and Gordon's statement. Once you've paired the contradiction, the contradictory elements, click the check. Click the check here to confirm your choice. The one on this side will do the same thing. Yana came to get me. I was reading in my room the whole time. I went to the kitchen. Yana came to get me. Can I check? Oh, I can! Everyone's- no, no, no. Um... Alibis. Gordon. Was reading in his room prior to Lynn being called by her father at midnight. Prior to Lynn being called by her father at midnight. Wait. Around 12.15, moved to the kitchen when he discussed food with Pines. He encountered Burn in the dining room. Is it maybe Diana came to get me? Um... The whole time...
Is this combination contradictory? Wait. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. I was reading in my room the whole time. Oh. Oh. When we we're getting. room the whole time, he shouldn't have known about the vase Elisa broke. Precisely, Lynn Rhymeweiss. If you supposedly stayed in your room, why did you know the vase had been broken? Come to think of it, that slipped my mind. I thought I heard something breaking, so I went to look. Mm hmm. So did you go look? Well, you're an old coot after all. I'll grant you... I'll grant you might forget a thing or two. And you didn't meet the maid there? I did not. I would wager she had gone somewhere to dispose of the broken vase. I simply connected the dots of the wet floor, the missing vase, and the sound I'd heard. The maid took about five minutes cleaning up there. You must have been walking awfully slow. I was at a good part in my book, you see. Hm, <laughs> such a lousy excuse. Are you sure you didn't notice the vase being gone while heading back from the master's room to yours? What proof do you, yeah, what proof do you have of that? Oh, very sorry indeed. Very well. That isn't the important part. So, you went up the stairs from your room and saw the vase missing in the second floor hallway. Is correct. <laughs> so he says, Lin Rhymeweiss. That's. To change the subject, were you aware that Lin Rhymeweiss was attacked by the dogs? Say again? She was called out there by a note. Any ideas about that? I had no. Absolutely not. I had no absolutely knowledge. That. They, they, they messed up the order a little bit. I had absolutely no knowledge of the mistress landing in such a perilous situation. You instigated the mistress, didn't you? It was surely your detectiving that caused her to... Lynn Reinweiss chose that herself. I was in no way responsible. Now then, Lynn Reinweiss, think carefully. While you were disputing in the dining room, I was still in your room. I left right around the time the tall maid came bursting out of the dining room. Who could have gone to put that note in your room? When Bern ran out of the dining room, Heinz went after him. And you and I know Diana and Kai were in the guest room. That means the old coot and the short maid remained in the dining room. But the short maid was ordered by someone to go look for you, wasn't she? That's... 
After that, Lynn Reimweiss was attacked by someone and nearly died. She was attacked from behind in the bath. And marks like three large claws were left on her back. Impressive of them to enter without anyone noticing. Who indeed could be capable of that? Lynn Reimweiss, you must know, yes? That can't possibly be. It's inconceivable. Hey, you two. I was wondering. Who's this Gordon guy? No. No, you're fucking with me. No fucking way. No. Huh? What are you saying? Shit, is that true? What would I lie for? The two maids, the gardener, the guard, the chef? Those five work in the mansion, right? But the butler Gordon? Who the heck is that? So it's true that... Wait, so it's true. Jishio didn't see him. It seems you finally understand. If you don't wish to say it, I will present the truth. No. I'll do it. <laughs> That's our Lenny. Good luck finishing this up. That good enough for you, Arn? Yes, no issues here. I was the one who wanted to find the killer. No matter how painful it would be, I'd learn the truth and catch the culprit. To do that, I abandoned my humanity and became a vampire. In my theory, in my theory battle with Lord Arn, we proved most of the suspects couldn't have done it. There were clear reasons why they couldn't create the locked room or get inside or go to the third floor. However, we made these just judgments based on information that assumed the killer was human. But there's a situation in which that information is rendered meaningless. Gordon, you're... a vampire, aren't you? Of all the things I thought you'd say... You must cease joking around like this, mistress. I'm not joking in the slightest. If you're not a vampire, Gordon, then stand in front of that mirror right now. I need not go along with your wild delusions. How utterly foolish. Come on, Gordon, at least give her that. If it'll satisfy Lynn, what's the harm? Besides, you got knocked out alongside me. Isn't that better proof than any that Gordon isn't the killer? <laughs> right. That happened as well. Chef, it is I who attacked you. Ha. Huh? Granted, there were circumstances, but I shall apologize regardless. Sorry for that. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can just accept that. However, I did not attack that old coot. I suspect he hit me he hit himself or ran into something to play the victim, yes? What in the world would you do that for? Would you think someone who was attacked is the killer? Ah, now that you mention it. However, I would never go out the front door once I left the entryway. That would surely be outside. And unfortunately, the key, I left it with Lynn Reinweiss. I left with Lynn... Lynn Reinweiss is no more. You know what that means, don't you, old coot? What indeed could you be talking about? That's... that's enough. 
Lord Arn, hand over Jishia. True, that would be faster. That's... Jishia, don't show up, okay? Gah. G -g -g Gordon isn't showing up in the mirror. Did Elisa just talk normally? <laughs> I didn't even notice. You all know that vampires don't appear in mirrors, right? You were in father's room from the start. And after killing him, you just walk normally back to your room. Well done, Lin Rhymevice. I shall offer a supplement. The theory battle between Lin Rhymevice and I was meant to confirm which humans could not have killed their father. Lin Rhymevice tinkered with the mirrors in this mansion in advance, you see. Giving us a full picture of any humans who passed in front of a mirror. That fact is why, for a time, we believed the claim that you were reading in your room. However, you confess it yourself, you passed through the west side of the second floor. But that alone can't... Really, there should have been... a clear murder weapon, like an axe left in left next to the headless corpse. And you should have tried to kill Lin Rhymevice with a knife or the like. If you'd done that, even if I knew you were a vampire, I probably wouldn't have thought you were the killer. After all, a proud vampire would never deign to kill with human methods. Perhaps by making use of brute strength, you thought you'd remove yourself. An old coot as a suspect. But with the knowledge that you're a vampire, it's just a clear confession that you're the killer. I suppose there's no avoiding it. So it was you, Gordon. Why did you kill father? Have you been deceiving us this whole time? That isn't the case at all, Mistress Lynn. I thought of you like a true daughter. No, like a granddaughter. I also thought of your father and mother like family. Then why kill father? I thought it not so bad to live amongst humans. Yet, about a month ago I believe, the master won the bid in a certain auction. It was for Lord Nakzera's heart. Lord Nakzera? Yes, Lord Naxera, my liege, who I'm, whom I truly serve. I see. So then it became a question of priorities. Indeed. The master ordered me to gather human body parts so he could use that heart to revive his wife. But I wish to revive Lord Naxera more than her. That's all it came down to. So, I went out with the master night after night to kill humans. Though, killing too many in so short a time caused it to become a bit harder to act. So once you gathered the parts for Nakzera's revival, you killed your master to get him out of the way. But that isn't the only reason you killed him, is it? You plan to take over this house. Incidentally, I found a bite mark on this girl's arm while I was dressing her. You intended to make Lin, Lin Rhymevice your puppet, didn't you? Huh? I was unable to make her a puppet with no will of her own. But I could... But I could make it so she wouldn't defy my orders. Or so it should have been. To think the mistress had her blood sucked before me. No wonder she wouldn't die, seeing as I couldn't control her either. What do you mean? You sucked my blood? After knocking you out, mistress, I did suck your blood through your arm. However, since you did not fall under my control, 
It must mean you were already not human. For vampires can only make puppets out of humans. I, I don't understand what you're saying. I mean... I mean, that can't be right, can it? I've always been human. But it's a shame. I intended to make you the family head and control you from the shadows. After reviving my liege, I knew the best way for vampires to make their comeback would be to control the nobility. The master was useless, frail in mind and body. So you were the more suitable, mistress. Well, never mind Lynn Rhymeweiss for now. More importantly, why prepare a headless corpse? Surely that could have just been her father. The master's plan was to revive his wife, fake his death, and have the three of us sneak away. As I said before, I thought of the master and his wife like family, so I planned to let the two of them be together by using their body parts for my leech. However, if the master went missing instead of dying, Mistress Lin may have tried to search for him endlessly. My control was not powerful enough to refute her strong will. So it was necessary that the master in fact be killed. I see. If you had gotten hold of any real power, you could have made any random human into the killer. Once the killer was apprehended, even Lin Rhymeweiss would give up. Is that it? All that remained was to revive my liege, once everyone has fallen asleep. So you didn't anticipate the guard arriving after all? Yes, that was not part of the plan with the master. Perhaps he anticipated that he would be killed. Your presence was also most unexpected. Truly, things just wouldn't go my way. Considering that, you don't seem too worried. Naturally. I remember hearing a rumor of you, Lord Ninetooth. Uh, yeah, Lord Ninetooth. I think it was Ninetooth. I remember hearing a rumor of you, Lord Ninetooth. Aha, uh -huh. you know me. That you were the most heinous of vampires, created when our king sacrificed their hearts. However, you've now foolishly had them taken, and now do such idiocy as detective work. So I heard. <laughs> what a cruel rumor. A weak vampire with only one ninth of the power from his heyday is no match for me. God damn. <laughs> I see now. No need for a murder weapon with arms like those. Well suited for looping off a head or two. And being a vampire, you could stick the head in a bag and carry it and carry it around without it appearing in mirrors so what do you plan to do so what do you plan to do that was worth showing us your ugly true colors I shall have you both die I suppose that would be the easiest option then Ryan Vice got away from him. I was inhuman to start with. Ahem. Lord Arn. <laughs> so you call yourself nine tooth, yet this is all you can do? What's this? Are you a fool? It doesn't matter if I have one ninth the power. It doesn't matter if I have one ninth the power. The heart in this body is still 100% of kings. Do you think a weakling like you can contend with a king? Grrr. Yes, run away uncouthly. 
Now then, Lin Rhymevice. I shall be giving chase, but... Lord Arn, just what am I? Hmm? Well now, your hand's bleeding. What? Lord Arn? Hmm? Indeed. No change at all in your blood. Lin Rhymevice. What indeed are you? What do you mean? You should have become a vampire after making a pact with me. But my blood has not mixed in. In other words, you haven't become a vampire. So that means I wasn't human, doesn't it? However, when I drink your blood, I can temporarily regain power. No other animal's blood will do. It has to be human blood. What does it mean? It means you are human, Lin Rhymevice. Well, you can't be spending time fretting about your body. I need to do some after show cleanup. Lord Arn. Please be safe. But of course. What's the matter? Can't even run? If you have the power of a king, then I'm sure it would be pointless to try. And neither do I have any chance of winning. Why, how boring. Put up some more resistance and entertain me. In fact, I wouldn't even mind if you use my heart. I'm sure you have it, don't you? So you've even seen through to that. But you shall regret it. My liege, Lord Nachzera. He can surely defeat you. <laughs> How amusing. Use all of my body. Let Lord Nachzera return here and now. Lord Naxera Forever I forgot about this team. This team goes hard. Also Damn. Been a while since I had a, since I had flesh. You know how it feels having it be an old coot of all things. I'm talking to you, Nine Toot. So you're Naxera, I must, I must say. You look just as stupid as you sound. What? Ain't you the real idiot for forgetting my heart stolen from you? Forgetting my heart stolen from you. I was opposed from the start, you know? Gathering up the hearts of other weak ass vampires. Was it no way. Oh my god, this <laughs> this been is tripping me up. Was it no way it makes somebody stronger than me? Ah, I think I get it. You're feeling that weakness member of the big four role. That's it. I'ma murderize ya. I'll suck out all your blood. This time, I'll be 9 toot. What's this? When vampires fight each other, it can take a long ass time to come to a conclusion. Aha. Uh -huh. So you set the stage for a battle with our blood on the line. You got it. When you're part of one of these blood feuds, whoever loses pays with their blood. Now, welcome to my stage. Let's get killing. Intriguing. 
Let us dance joyfully beneath the crimson moon. Versus Nakzera. Alright. So this is the stage for your blood feud. You're being pretty cocky, huh? You do realize that getting on my stage means I get to decide the rules, yeah? Obviously I know that. I also picked up on the fact that it'll use up more of your blood this way. Why you? You did that on purpose? My throat is killing me, by the way. I just didn't want to waste blood, that's all. Go ahead and act all cocky, because it won't last. The blood feud between you and me. It's a simple back and forth of strength. Rather, that's all your puny mind could... Wait, rather, that's all your puny mind could think of, wasn't it? You rockin'. It's murderizing time! Noxedra is able to fly around this stage freely, but Nine Tooth appears to be limited. To start, Noxedra began turning through the sky, creating shadows of himself. But while numerous, they don't seem powerful on their own. Nine Tooth should be able to defeat them with ease as long as they don't attack from the sides or behind. Also, even if he is about to take a hit, Nine Tooth will surely turn into mist and avoid it. Like that, okay. Not bad, Nine Toot. I could fight these weaklings. Uh, I could fight these weaklings all day. You might want to stop wasting blood, you know. Shut up. If numbers ain't no good, I'll try speed. All right. Next, Naxera took control of a massive shadow to charge at his foe. Nine Toot dodged its approaches. I kept an eye out for a chance to attack. Okay. Indeed, it may be large and quick, but he appears to be in his vulnerable state. Furthermore, I've noticed a safe zone directly underneath Naxera himself. I'll slip in there and fell him from below. I imagine if I strike facing straight towards him, he won't be able to react. Oh, I made a mistake. There is nothing that my beast's sharpest fangs cannot pierce. You're not doing so bad. Is that all you've got, Noxera? If so, we'd better bring an end to this soon. Don't get carried away, you. Jesus fucking Christ, what am I looking at? This time, I got numbers, speed, and strength. Plus, some of those traps you like so much. What rashness. Shut up. Once I steal all your blood from you, it'll... It'll have been worth it. Do it. Wait, do it to it, my hyper mode shadows. All units charge. Hyper mode? 
Is that what you called that invulnerable state? Not a shred of naming sense, hmm? What did you say? As if that ain't the coolest name you've ever heard. Oh, my apologies. I think it suits you very well. Of course it does. That aside, even I might be in trouble if I succumb to all this. No doubt this is a desperate attack. Indeed. How delightful. I shall read your every movement. Mind to hone his senses to track everything around him. He and the shadows appear to move at the same speed. But if you moved at random, he'd fall prey to the traps. Regardless. Regardless, Ninetooth found a route that would let him reach Naxera. When Arn moves one step, all enemies will move one step. Try to reach Naxera without hitting any foes. So this is like Mystery Dungeon. Note that screen clicking movements. Wait, note that screen clicking movement is disabled. Move with the arrow keys or clicking the bottom right arrows. Okay, so let's try. That was wrong. Yep. Shit. That route won't do it. Um. Hold on. Um, I actually don't know. This is like Mystery Dungeon, but I've never exactly been good at avoiding enemies in Mystery Dungeon. Oh! Oh, they can only face a certain way. Ah! Consider yourself vested. What? There's no escape now. It's my victory. Damn it! Why? There's no way you and me's strength is that far apart. It's an issue of affinity. In spite of your stupidity, you tried to strategize and follow patterns. However, such planned out fights are my forte. I get it. So I should have just rammed you with pure strength. Thanks for that. You're still struggling. I didn't say I lost. God damn, this is cool. I'll be taking my heart back, Naxera. It ain't yours. It's my heart. Well then, why am I the one holding it? Bah. Alright, fine. Guess I'll admit my defeat this time. 
I'll just have to stay put for a while. Hmm. He reverted to the old coot. I've destroyed the coot's heart, so he can't so he can go ahead and die. Hmm? This mansion won't hold together, will it? Lord Arn. I know I told you to wait, but to think you'd actually be here. I'm glad you're okay. Did you expect otherwise? Also, I just realized Lin uh, is like dirty. Well, I guess the sooth from the from the rubble. Um, where's Gordon? I killed him. I see. Oh, don't misunderstand. I wasn't responsible for doing this to the mansion. It was the work of Naxera, who the old coot revived. Gordon revived? Right, I guess so. What of the others? I told them I'd wait for you and had them evacuate before me. Can you not move? <laughs> it seems I sprained my leg too, so... Troublesome to the last. Though, I suppose I was the one who pushed you. Look at that, Lord Arn. The moon sparkling such a pretty crimson. It's just dirt and... It's just dirt and dust that's sparkling, actually. What? What did I do it all for? Even this house I wanted to protect... Even this house I wanted to protect has been destroyed. It feels like the world is ending. <laughs> Truly. Lynn Reinweiss. Does your idiocy know no bounds? Is this mansion your whole world? That's much too narrow. Everything beneath the crimson moon. That is my world. Everything is your world? And now, with the wall with the walls and roof destroyed. The boundary between your world and mine is gone. Whether you perish with this mansion or head outside is up to you. When I flew through the sky with you before, how did this mansion look from above? It looked so very tiny. Much tinier than I thought. Yes, that's all it ever was. I would think a life that never knew anything more to be quite a boring one. I want... I do want to see more of the world. The world outside the mansion, which I only learned of in these last few days. Lord Arn's world. In that case... There's no time to be gazing at the moon here. Oh, my throat hurts so much. Let us go, Lynn Rhymeweiss. Okay, Lord Arn. Huh? Um, Lord Arn. Hey, that's a little bit... Don't move. It's not my fault if you fall. I was just saying, it's a little embarrassing. Is now the time to be worried about that? We're off. Oh, if possible, I'd like to make sure no one's left behind in the mansion. Sheesh. Alright, I'll do so. Thank you very much. Some of the servants may still be in the mansion. Escape while looking around for them. Arn can handle fire and strong impacts, but Lin isn't as sturdy. Pay attention to Lin's health. Also, if time runs out and the mansion collapses, you'll fail the escape, so hurry. 
Uh, please. Oh my god. Even the fool would know not to go up in this situation. Hmm. Given things here, I expect there are fires starting elsewhere too. That's all the more reason to be worried about the others. Lynn Rhinevis, would you be able to handle being burnt by flames of this strength? Do you really expect me to say yes? I just thought I'd ask. Be sure to avoid the flames. Somebody saveth me! That's Elisa's voice. I heard it from the maid's, maid's room. Should we drop in? Not going there isn't even an option. Hot! It doth be hot! I'm bound to be grilled deliciously at this rate. It looks like she's practicing her dance moves. Are we looking at the same thing? At least, it's, at least I'm going to save you. Via Lord Arn. Uh, oh well. There was something I wanted to try. Oh, goddamn. L Lord Arn. Your eye. I... I trust this not to be a delicious steak. Huh? When did... Be grateful, maid. Y yes, sir. Thank you so much, Lee. Jeez. What were you doing in here? I came to get a hamburg, a the steady bear for soup. Sheesh. Hurry and evacuate, please. Y yes, m Um... I'm truly... It's alright, you didn't do anything wrong, Elisa. More importantly, you need to get going. I understood, indeed. Lord Arn, was that... Noxera's power, yes. Thanks to recovering his heart, it appears I can now use it as well. Is that okay? You know... It's no issue. I mean, I hope so. Enough about that. Let's search for the the other humans. Yes, please do. Heave. I can hear Heinz in the kitchen. He can go straight outside from there. I don't feel it necessary to check on him. Wah! Lord Arn. Yes, I know. The flames are especially strong in the dining room. Lin may take damage just being there. Heinz, what's the matter? Lin, so that guy actually saved you, huh? Yes. Wait, I mean... Uh, I was just taking out some viable cookware. But there was more than I thought and I can't get it through the door. Sure, you can leave such things behind, yes? Would you leave your lover in the burning building? <laughs> God damn. Huh? I know, you should carry it. Why should I do such a thing? Because then I'll say we're even for you punching me. That's right, you should help, Lord Arn. Alright, alright. Such a pain. Hey, isn't that a little much? I threw it in the fridge as a bonus, be grateful. <laughs> Come on. And when you're holding Lin so gingerly too. Hmm? What do you mean? I know I'm one to talk, but this mansion really was bizarre. I'm kinda shocked that Gordon was the killer. But you destroyed it for her, I bet. This prison of Linz. Heinz. Hold on. It wasn't I who destroyed the mansion. Well, that's not really what I meant. Come on, you two. You better leave soon or else. Yes, re really must be. No, I simply cannot. 
Every one of the residents here, I swear. Come to think of it, maybe Diana and Kai did say they forgot something in the second floor guest room. We're done, let's go. I know. Take care, you two. And take care of Lin, too. Well, I won't kill her. That's the least I expect. We're done. Let's go to the second floor guest room. I should hope this is the last one. Fuck! I was- I wanted to do damage less- oh my god. Where's the guest room? I can't go through here. Um, I can't- wait, what? Can't go through here. Okay, that's the wrong way. So I took damage for nothing. Great. What hit me? Oh! Lord Arn, I don't think I can hang on any longer. Shit. Lord Arn, I'm getting kind of a bad feeling. Please be careful, okay? You don't need to tell me twice. Um, can I like, reset? Eh, it's fine. I already did take damage for nothing. This mansion is truly starting to crumble now. We're done, let's hurry. Debris will now start to fall in the dining room and pass and passages outside the rooms. Try to keep moving without stopping as much as possible. Great. I have no business in this room. Okay. Listen, if you just jump to the tree from here... You idiot, I'm telling you, it's impossible! Oh, you're such an idiot! What are you doing? Mistress, and uh, Arn, right? I was gonna try to run, but... Diana had other plans. Why are you making me out to be selfish? You're the one who forgot something, Kai. If it was that important, then you shouldn't lose it. What in the world did you come get? The ring, duh. I really was planning to elope with you. So, of course I'd want to prepare a ring. Kai. Are you... Gonna look at me or not? They seem to be having a moment here, but... Rodan, can you do something? I can just push him off, yes? <laughs> That's far too... Perilous. Whatever that means. Very well, leave it to me. Here, now they should be able to roll down safely. And that made of blood. This might do it. Wow. Huh? Oh, hold on a moment. Hey, um, excuse me. No! Now then, we'd better go as well. Huh. Feels like we're forgetting someone. The guard? Eh, it's fine. He can he can bird to death. Yay, the guard is dying. I'm glad everyone's safe. Lin, what are you gonna do? Father has left us and the house is burned down. I'm terribly sorry, but I don't have money to pay you. But no matter what, I will do so. What are you talking about? Don't bother about that stuff. Nobody here is worried about money. What matters is we're all safe. Isn't that enough? Heinz. I said such terrible things to you, mistress. I can hardly express the depths of my remorse. However, we can however, we consider you precious family. The time we have spent together has all very much been real. As much as possible, I think you would all like to continue providing whatever aid we can. Thank you very much. 
I'm glad you feel that way, but I need to sort out my feelings too. Please let me take some time away to think about things. Sorry, mistress. If we've been able to do something sooner... Don't say that. It was all Father and Gord... It was all Father and Gordon to blame. If anything, I should apologize for not noticing something amiss. Mistress, that's not true either. Don't blame yourself. Indeed, it, it isn't. Many painful things have happened. But we overcame them because you were there. You have been like a little sister to me. Except you feel more like a little sister, if anything. <laughs> That's why... We did not want you to know it about the things we were doing whenever possible. Because of our love. We were scared of you hating us. That's nonsense. I'll never hate you for it. There may have been a lot going on I didn't know. But I do know you were all thinking of me. Because I've been with you for so long. So I couldn't imagine that time was all a lie. Mistress! Why are you crying, Elisa? Because... Because... I don't love you too much. So do I. So do I, Elisa. Lynn, you might not be aware of it just yet. But it looks like you've matured a lot from all this. Though I guess it remains to me... It remains to me seen... Wait. Though I guess it remains to me seen if that's a good... Huh? Sure. Though I guess it remains to be seen if that's a good thing or not. After the murder happened, we may have argued a lot and shown off our bad sides, but nobody was blaming you, you know? We're all on your side. Yes, you were. Thank you so much. Well, anyway, call for me anytime. Call for me anytime you want to eat something delicious. I'll be sure to hone my skills even more for you. I'll come flying in wherever you are. Right. Well then, we'll be taking our leave. Yes, I'll see you again someday. My home is gone. Was this really for the best? That your house burned down? No, not that. If I hadn't gotten into my head... If I hadn't gotten it into my head, I'd solve this case. If I hadn't gotten it into my head, I'd solve this case. I'm sure we would have kept living here like always. Truly, Lin, right? Oh, for fuck's sake, I need tea. True, truly, Lynn Rhymevice, does your idiocy know no bounds? I had thought you'd already accepted that. I mean, any regrets you have won't change the reality. More important is considering what lies ahead. Now, all the strings controlling you have been cut. Finally, a puppet no longer. You'll begin life in the new world, yes? A puppet no longer. I suppose so, but... Lord Arn, am I really human? Are you that bothered about the details? If you say you're human, you're human. But... And, did you not say so when performing the blood pact? Even if I become a vampire, my heart will remain human. If my heart is human, right. Of course, human or 
elsewise. Are you not Lynn Reinweiss? Like how you're just Lord Arn? Yes. You are yourself. I shall keep those words of yours in the back of my mind. So will I. I won't forget them. I've lived my life as a human, and I'll continue living as a human. If that's what you wish for, I'm sure it can be so. Now then, this brings my job to a close, human. Right, her vampire. What are you going to do now? The Rheinweiss family has been reduced to just me. But I'll try to start it over once more. With father and mother, and even Gordon gone, I'm not sure if I can, but... I can't help thinking it'd be nice if everyone could come back someday. Because they're family. But before that, I want to go lots of places. I need to expand my world. Do you know? Give your best effort. For a child 15 years of age, you did well with this case. I'm sure you'll be... I'm sure you'll be all right in any circumstance. If I have your, if I have your approval, her vampire, then I'm sure I will be. Thank you very much. Well, let that, let that be that. I'm leaving, human. Take care, her vampire. Why are you not dead? Burned. I completely forgot. Forgot me? You're so cruel. But I'm glad I caught you, mistress. What were you doing? I went fishing around the mansion. I thought if it was burning down anyway, it'd be fine to look... If, it'd be fine if I took a thing or two. But most everything just burned away, huh? There was still stuff I was hoping to get. Hmm? A sturdy sword? A sturdy sword? What? Oh, it's okay. I'll share with everyone who evacuated before me. I'll make good use of it as sev severance pay. That's better than just being tossed to the streets without being given a dime. Honestly, I should have carried out a lot more. Alright, take this, Mistress Lynn. You dropped it. Well then, I'll take my leave. Good luck with everything. Wait, is it her pendant? Are you alright with that? The things in the mansion... Are your property now, yes? Yeah, she's not wearing her pendant, so I guess... Yeah, she did drop that. It's okay. The only thing that's really mine is this jersey. I see. I expect he can live just about anywhere. Yeah. Maybe I should have followed his example a little. Well, once more... So long, human. Goodbye, her vampire. Oh yeah. What exactly did Burn hand me? Oh. Ah. So I was left this jersey and this photo too. I like how it's not burned in any way. Like, not even dirty. It's just, like, perfectly clean. Huh? I thought it was just burn marks, but... Did the heat reveal this writing? With my dear family. Father. What you did was wrong. I can say that with certainty. But you loved us, your family, didn't you? I won't forget that part. And so... The incident between myself and her vampire ended. Honestly, I'm full of words. <laughs> Honestly, I'm full of worries about the future. But nothing should be more painful than today. And though it makes me feel like... And that thought makes me feel like it'll be okay. Lynn Rheinweiss.
Okay, so... There is technically another episode. It's a DLC episode. Um... Oh, what? So, why are you here, human? Look, if you just think about it, I've got nowhere to go. So please let me stay here a while. Why should I let you? I'm going to use you. Rejected. Then, I know. I request an investigation into why I didn't become a vampire. How about that? Doesn't it pique your interest? Shit. Very well, do as you please. Lynn Rhymeweiss? Yes, Lord Arn. Well, time to pay my fee. Go ahead and suck. I'll get the needle. Aww. Um. What? <laughs> Yoo-hoo, we meet again. That's the end of this case. Happily ever after and all that. Did you figure out the killer before Arn? Uh, no, I failed miserably. I've, I've, I've failed, I, I made a fool of myself. Like, I look like an idiot now. Well, who cares either way. So, I was thinking I'd show you a scene from a slightly different world as a reward. But, aw, looks like you messed up a bit. The important bits this time are... Arn and Lin's theory battle, and the escape from the mansion. Of course it fucking is. Of course it fucking is. Did you correctly point out the flaws in Arn's theories? And Linny didn't faint or anything when you were escaping the mansion, did she? Um, yeah, about that. Well, if you feel like it, come back here once more. Well then, wait, huh? Looks like something interesting's going on, so I'm gonna take a look. Oh, he's still alive? Blood. Not enough blood. Woman. Blood. Huh? Eh? Let me drink your blood. Uh, hey! Eh? Screaming like that be the human thing to do, right? Is she a fucking zombie? It's not even a vampire, I shit up a fucking zombie. What was that all of a sudden? Oh dear, he collapsed. Was that trash a friend of yours, Tisha? Don't know him. I see. Very well. More importantly, where am I? I want to meet Noon. Or rather Eins. Eh? Don't ask me. Can't figure out your location in these woods. Also, he's not Eins, he's Sly now. Ah, he gained one. I see. That's good for you, Sly. Continue to case two. Huh. There's a sequel. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna do what I did earlier. I'm gonna put the BRB. I'm going to just replay the, like, half the game off screen. Did you figure out the killer before, Aaron? No, I'm, I'm too stupid for that. Well, who cares either way. So then, I prepared a reward for you for making it here without mistakes. I'll let you take a little... I'll let you take a little peek into a slightly different world that you might have... That, that you might have been... What? Hmm... Isn't there any way I can become a Puella Magi? <laughs> I'll grant that wish. Who, who was that? 
Where did that even come from? Here, over here, look at the mirror. The mirror? Nothing really looks different. Yoo-hoo! My name's Jishie. I'll make you into a Puella Maji. Really? Then do it right away! You... gonna question that a little more? That's just wasted time. I'll become one anyway, so I might as well jump right into it. Well, sure, but... Alright, let's get into it. Recite the spell that's in your mind right now. Then you'll transform. Really? Well, alright then. Cutely, fancily, fantastically, rhyme-wise! It's just an outfit change! <laughs> hey, welcome back. How was it? I thought that was a good one, because it was so perfectly worthless. Well, this is goodbye for now. See you next. Wait, huh? Looks like there's something interesting going on. I'm gonna go take a look. Alright, continue to case two. Cool. Alright, 